Hello, I'm Bill, and this is Bill Collects Comic Books. My comic book collection as of July 12th, 2015. I started collecting comics in May 2015. However, I've been reading comics digitally for many years, illegally. My goal is to collect all the comics that I've read digitally, as well as collect new releases. So far, I have 175 comics and two trade paperbacks. Part one is Secret Wars. Now, Secret Wars is the reason why I decided to start buying comic books. Now, this is Secret Wars 2, issue 6. I plan on getting all of the old Secret Wars, but uh, that will come slowly. Now, this is the... Time runs out portion of Secret Wars, and this is now it's Avengers Volume 5, 35 through 44 that fit in with the time runs out. I'm missing 37 through 42. Now you see here, this is a duplicate. I accidentally picked up this extra copy thinking I did not have it, and that's 44. That is the last issue of Avengers before Secret Wars. Now this is New Avengers. Time runs out, which is a part of Secret Wars. It runs from New Avengers Volume 3, 24 through 33. I am missing 27 and 31. So I am very close. Now I have not read Avengers, New Avengers, or Avengers World, which is coming up in a second because I'm missing issues. When I fill in the gaps of what I'm missing, then I'll read it. I probably should have bought these first, but that is hindsight. As you'll notice at the top there, the months are running down as their time is running out, literally. Captain Britain. Everybody's favorite captain. This is what 32, and this is 33, the last issue of New Avengers. However, I heard that there's going to be an all new, all different New Avengers coming up after Secret Wars. And this is issue 15 of Avengers World. I picked that up on accident. But now I guess that gives me a reason to go back and collect all the Avengers World in that volume. Which is volume one, I'm, I think. And Avengers World runs from 17 to 21. I only have 19 and 20. And 15. Now this is Spider-Man, or Miles, or Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man. Um... Only issue 12 falls in with the Secret Wars, but I plan on getting all of them because it's really good and I've read it. This is Deadpool 250. Deadpool dies along with everyone else. It's pretty cool. And this brings us into the last days of portion of Secret Wars. You got Black Widow here. Black Widow is issue 19 and 20. Captain America and the Mighty Avengers. This is issue 8 and 9, which I believe I have both of them. It's a variant cover of issue 9, I believe. And there's Loki, Last Days Of. That runs from 14 to 17. 14 and 15 are out right now. 16 and 17 will be released at a later point. Last Days of Magneto, which are issues 18 through 21. I have 18 and 19, 20 and 21 are yet to be released. Uh, Miss Marvel, which is issue 16 and 17. I have 16, 17 is yet to be released. Black Widow is 19 and 20. I have 19, 20 is not released. Punisher is 19 and 20. This is issue 19. 20 is yet to be released. That's a pretty good issue. This is the previews for Secret Wars. 
I just had to have it for my collection. That's why it's there. And you'll notice that it also has the same cover as Secret Wars issue number four. Uh, this is Secret Wars number zero. The comic book shop extra actually had an extra copy for me. They gave it to me along with some other purchases. Secret Wars number one. Really good comic book. Really good comic book. A little confusing until uh, a little com or a few comics later, but really good. This is a variant edition, Secret Wars number two, featuring all of the various Thor Corps. Front and center, Lady Thor. This is Secret Wars issue number three. Very good issue, but coming up, the next one was way better. So far, this is my favorite issue of Secret Wars so far. And that's an just an awesome cover. Doom, Sue, Doctor Strange, and Venereal Disease Storm. Part 2, Battle World. Battle World, issue number 1. That was a really good issue. Battle World number 2. This has Blade and Howard the Duck teaming up if I do recall, and it was really great. Age of Ultron vs. Marvel Zombies, which was a total letdown. Tame, lame. Ghost Racers number one, not very good. However, uh, Ghost Racers number two was a freaking awesome issue. Awesome cover, too. Inhumans, Until and Rising, the new X-Men, I think. They've been around, but I think they're trying to focus on them a whole lot more. Issue number two, Marvel Zombies. I was really looking forward to this. Total letdown, tame, lame. Master of Kung Fu, number one, really great issue. Really, really great issue. Number two, not so much. However, issue number three, that was really fucking good. Really good. I really enjoyed that. Red Skull, number one. It was an alright issue. Could have been better. Runaways, number one. I really like this. Runaways are always a good read. Issue number two is even better than issue number one. That just came out recently. Secret Wars Journal number one. I am not digging any of these. The series is very boring to me. I could give a crap less. Yup, don't care. There's three of them out currently. Thor's really good comic book. I can't wait until the next one comes out. Ultimate End number one. This is also all three of these that are here. All really good. And this is an awesome cover. This is also an awesome cover. Simple, but awesome. All right, part three is War Zones, another part of Secret Wars. This is 1602 Angela. I never knew anything about uh, this character beforehand, but she's crazy as fuck. Uh, 1872 is like an Old West version of all your favorite characters. Fun stuff. 2099. 2099 Spider-Man universe. But they're fleshing it out more. I don't know much about 2099 beforehand. I didn't read any of it. But it's pretty good from what I'm reading in Secret Wars. Uh, A Force, which is one of my favorite um, 
comics so far in the Secret War series, and I heard that there's going to be an all new, all different A Force. What you saw first there was a, a, a variant cover, Young Little Marvel. This is issue number two. Age of Apocalypse. This just got released recently. Really good comic. Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows. This is a what-if scenario where everything just went well with Peter and Mary Jane. This is a alternate cover. Variant edition. She's in her underwear. This is also a variant cover. Young Little Little Marvel variant. Amazing Spider-Man. Renew Your Vows, number two. That's a pretty dope cover. Mm, all, both issues are really good. This, this I had to get off eBay. This was a Toys R Us exclusive, and this is a black and or sketch variant. As issue zero of Armor Wars, this Armor Wars number one right here. Armor Wars number two. So far, Armor Wars has been a really good story about the Stark brothers. Yes, there are two Starks now. This is my least favorite of the whole entire series. Captain Carol and the Carol Corpse. Civil War, this just came out. This is really good. It's basically a what if Civil War didn't end. Then you got Deadpool's Secret Secret Wars. It's just hilarious. It's funny stuff. It doesn't take place during Secret Wars, but the old Secret Wars. Issue number two, funny stuff. E's for Extinction. This cover's kind of wacky. Good story, though. Future Imperfect. Maestro. Kicking ass. Good story. Ben Grimm trying to get in some punches against Maestro. Very good issue. Giant size little Marvel A vs. X. This is hilarious. You gotta pick it up if you do not have it. Issue number two. Freaking hilarious. Cyclops getting hit by dodgeballs. Alright, here's Inferno. Inferno features X Men characters. Colossus is trying to get to his sister. Very good read. I'd recommend it. Issue number three. Infinity Gauntlet. This is a variant edition of number one. Come at me, bro. Little Marvel Young variant. And this is uh, issue number one. Same thing, but a different cover, original cover. And this is Infinity Gauntlet number two. Very good reads. Nova's in it. Well, no, no, a version of Nova. This is Korvac Saga. Some lists have it in the Battle World portion, but it's not listed as Battle World like all of them, so I consider it War Zones. This is Modoc Assassin. It's hilarious. If you don't have it, pick it up. Same as issue number two. He falls in love. It's hilarious. Pick it up. Gotta love Modoc. Miss Deadpool and the Howling Commandos. The Howling Commandos have been led by a lot of people, and Miss Deadpool is an awesome leader of them. It's hilarious. Deadpool's in it as a ghost. You know, because he died. 
Old Man Logan, very good read. Pick it up if you do not have it. Basically, Old Man Logan is traveling throughout Battle World. He does, he's not staying in one place. Now, this is a variant edition cover of Planet Hulk number one. Young Little Marvel variant. And this issue number two. Cool cover. Spider Island, this just came out. It's a good read. Spider Verse number one. Number one. It's alright. Got Spider Ham in it. Issue number two. It's an okay read. Issue number three. This was a good read. Very good read. Squadron Sinister. If you do not have it, go out and get it. Very good. As well as issue number two. That is Sandman in the back. I was wondering who the heck that was. I thought it was uh, Martin X, one of the original uh, Guardians. Weird World, very good art design, very good story. It's mostly told through just visuals. Uh, where Monsters Dwell, it's alright. Definitely not the best, but definitely not the worst. Issue number two is better than issue number one, by far. It's got dinosaurs in it. X-Men 92, I was anticipating, but it kind of sucks. It's a boring read. Extinction Agenda, very good read. Very good read. Pick it up. Issue number two, even better than issue number one. Seems like a lot of these issue number ones are, like, very slow. Things don't pick up until issue number two. Years of Future Past, one of my favorite titles in it so far. Or in Secret War so far. I recommend it. Issue number two as well. I recommend it. Go pick it up. It's a cool storm cover. And coming up here is the Secret Wars Prelude Trade Paperback, which highlights a lot of the main stories that you should be reading first to kind of get yourself acclimated with what you're about to get into. Alright, up next is the DC section. These are not my comic books. These are from these are from my dad. He, I'm just holding on to them with my collection so they don't get ruined. I really have barely no interest in DC comic books aside maybe a few limited series. First one was Batman, this one is uh, Xeno Brood, issue number one. No idea who the hell Xeno Brood is. This is a Flash issue. Uh, apparently someone named Linda Park died and then died again. Poor Flash. But yeah, I haven't read it. Know nothing about it. No interest in Flash. Shadow War, Zombie. I may read this at some point. I like zombie shit. Team Titans. I've heard of Team Titans. Never heard of Team Titans. Issue number seven. Legion of Doom, Lion All in the back. Next is the few cross comics that I have. I plan on getting the whole entire series. This is original crossed issue number six. 
the original crossed, uh, crossed issue number nine. Garth Ennis is a good writer. Cross, Family Values, issue number one. Yeah, I know, it's hokey, edgy, whack shit, but I like it. This Cross Badlands, number one. Cool cover. This is Cross plus 100, which is Cross or... Is it cross? Yeah, cross plus 100, which issue number five, which is cross plus 100 years later. And this is my Image Comics collection. Invincible number zero. I plan on getting all the Invincible comic books. I wish I had started collecting them a long time ago, but uh, can't can't do nothing about that. Issue number 35. This is issue number is that 55 or 46. There's a lot of uh, Invincibles on the cover. Issue number 55. The all new, all awesome. <laughs> Vulture Might War, issue number 70, 71. Issue number 75. I think it's like 50 pages. It's thicker. Issue number 100. I'm glad I'm getting like some of these like bigger issues out of the way while they're cheap. Issue number 115. Battle Beast on the cover. Cool looking mace. Issue number 116 with Mark's mom and dad. There's Mark and Eve. Issue one, number 17. 117. This is issue number 118, which was 25 cents. The best superhero comic in the universe. We really want you to try this comic. That's why it's only 25 cents. I picked it up for 50 cents. Invincible 119. It's Mark, Eve, and their baby. Issue number 120. Look at that busted ass eye. And Invincible Returns. I believe that falls in somewhere around issue number 75. Something like that. I could, I'm, prob I'm probably wrong. And this is my Walking Dead collection which I wish I started buying when it first came out. It's issue number 23. Um, I remember go being in the comic book store and seeing the first issue on the shelves and just walking right by, didn't buy it, kicking myself in the ass. Issue number 30. This is... Let me see, issue number, I can't even see, 34, Carl and Lori the bitch, and this is issue number 90, I believe that's Andrea on the cover, this is a uh, first appearance of Ezekiel, and... 
Oh, I can't say that. That's a spoiler. 108. Now, this is issue number 115, and it's a second print. I picked it up on accident. I'm not collecting second prints. But luckily, I got it fairly cheap. This is issue number one, 138, and I believe I have every issue from here up to current, 139, this is uh, an anticipated issue, someone, everyone was waiting for someone to show up. Issue 140. Yeah, some heavy shit just happened. And this is issue 141. And looks like Negan has a chance to escape from the looks of the cover. Will that happen? This is issue 142. Looks like everybody's having fun. Yep, laugh it up now, guys. This is 143. They took a field trip into the danger zone. And issue number 144. This is one of those, holy shit, what the fuck, issues. <laughs> yeah, look at his face. That face has seen some fucking things in this issue. And the last part here is the various Marvel comics that I have that is not Secret Wars related. Or, well, one is. This is issue number 25 of the Avengers. It's like a extra wide issue. This is Bishop number 5, The Last X-Man. Kith Trilogy number 2. This is Blade number 4. Now, I have not read any of these so far, but I will at some point. Deadpool, Merc with a Mouth, however, I have read all of it. This is only issue number one and the only issue I, issue I have so far, but I do plan on getting all of them. However, I do have all of these. Return of the Living Deadpool. There's four in the uh, limited series. This is issue number one, and you can tell this is issue number two. Issue number three. Issue number four. I actually bought issue number four first. That's why it doesn't have a label on it. Found it in a two dollar box at a comic book shop. See, I go through. I have four comic book shops in my area. My well, my general area, and I go to all four. It's Howard the Duck number one. This is the most latest series. This is a variant cover of issue number three. I don't have issue number two, and five is yet to be released, but I will be getting two and five as soon as I track them down. I like that cover. That just went in the box. And this is Howard the Duck number four. This is tied to the old Secret Wars and the Deadpool Secret Secret Wars, not tied into Secret Wars. I should put it in the Secret Wars box, though, but I wanted to keep it with the other Howard the Ducks. Great issue, by the way. It was hilarious. And this is Hulk number 12. Well, the Incredible Hulk number 12. Not sure which volume, but it's a double-sized issue like the Avengers one that you saw first. Probably was purchased on the same day. Again, these the, the ones that um, I said I have not read yet are the ones that I also got from my father. 
along with the DC ones, like this one right here I also got from my father. I haven't read it yet. Well, I will be reading it. It's a Deadpool comic book. I'm a Deadpool mark. Say what you will, whatever. This is a second printing variant edition of Punisher Kills Marvel Universe. I plan on getting the first issue, but it is quite pricey, so I'm. it's going to have to be a further or a later project. This is Marvel Universe vs. The Punisher, which is like 28 days later. Marvel Universe type deal. And I believe I'm only missing issue number two. This is a variant cover of the issue, the same issue. It's a second printing variant. I had to get it just because it's a cool cover. Otherwise, I don't get second printings. Unless the second printings are... Um, more expensive in, uh, than the first printings in like some rare cases which I have not come across yet but I've heard it happens and this is I think number three yeah I'm missing issue number two and four and I have all four of these Marvel Universe versus Wolverine which ties into Marvel Universe versus Punisher and Marvel Universe versus Avengers, which I'm not sure. I think I have all four of. Yeah, I do. Yeah, this is uh, issue number three of four. The last one was two of four. And this is four of four. And this is Marvel Universe versus Avengers number one. Now in timeline, I think it goes Avengers, will or Punisher, or Avengers, Punisher Wolverine. In chronology, but it was released Punisher Wolverine Avengers. And I believe this is issue number four, uh, four. No, three of four, and the next one is four of four. Hawkeye versus Thor. Yeah, I totally recommend uh, going out and uh, tracking those down. It's a very good read. It's an end of the world scenario, as is this Empire of the Dead. This is Act Three, uh, Issue Three. And I believe this is Act 3, Issue 4. I plan on getting all of these as well. These are just the ones I picked up at the time. Issue number, I'm not sure. And this is Marvel Zombies Trade Paperback, Volume 1 of 3. I have the other two on order, so I'm just waiting for them to come in. Yeah, it's thick as fuck. Marvel Zombies is uh, perhaps my favorite of all the stories. And thanks for watching. I'm Bill. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. I don't know why I'm reading all of this. It says it every Sunday I will be uploading a new video displaying and giving a short review of the comics I picked up during this previous week. Leave a comment if you have any questions, comic book suggestions, compliments, or even gripes. Thanks for watching.